<laughs> Dave, uh, you've welcomed yourself back into the side. Uh, it's been a while since we saw you in the Chiefs these last two weeks, but um, you've coincided with the team winning. But just look back at last season, the early part of this season, you're not a great watcher, I'd imagine. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, anyone that knows me t quite well knows I'm not not too good at watching. But so yeah, glad glad there was only a couple of games I had to watch, and yeah, been good to be back involved. How tough was it though watching? Rob's talked about it. He said it affected both you and Skins to some extent. You know, going to a final and, and seeing your best mates out there, and you want to be part of it. Yeah, no, it wasn't it wasn't great. Um, obviously, missed out on the final a couple of years ago when. When we had wasps, uh, the first time we won, I was out with with my knee then, and yeah, struggled then, and obviously struggled again watching watching these this this time around. But you're back in uh, harness now, and we're great to see you back. But it's been a it's been a tough start to the season, but we're starting to see the real Chiefs come through now. Yeah, um, obviously we only had the one one warm up game, and then went into into Tigers. And then Northampton here, yeah, and we weren't we weren't quite hitting our straps just yet, but we're so, we're starting to get there now. And righted some wrongs from those first two losses, probably learned learned quite a bit from them, hopefully, and yeah, managed to sail away. is always always a tough tough place to go, but getting getting the win there was massive for us. And I think hopefully we've started started to get the ball ball rolling now. From your own perspective, was it great that you could just be thrown back into it? You know, you had to sink or swim, and yeah. luckily you swam. Yeah, yeah, not great swimmer, mind, but uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was it was a worry. Obviously, always a big test that first game with with the lungs, but no, it was good good to get out there, and yeah, so glad to get get the win. Like I said, sales always a tough place to go, and yeah, glad we got there. And then back here last weekend, and. Uh, what a, what a fantastic atmosphere! A great day. It, it was Sandy Park back to its best again. Yeah, no, it was special. I had, had goosebumps. To be fair, running running in with with the crowd, crowd behind us again. It was it's awesome to have 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 this like close to selling out again. So no, it was awesome. How tough was it been for players? You, you know, you've been here long enough. You've experienced this unbelievable days here. But how tough was it when it's as quiet as it is now? Yeah, it was so strange. To be fair, we. Um, getting used to it, like those first few games after after the lockdown and stuff, it just felt like training training against well other other squads and stuff. So you know, it was strange, and then weirdly it started to become normal. And then now now having the fans back, you you're having to listen. Again. Yeah, you have to readjust again, and yeah, you got used to having it so quiet and being able to hear everything. To to now really having to listen in again. So no, it's, no, it's. It's a welcome change. It's good to have him run back. On to this weekend, Dave, and huge test up at Was. Notoriously tough opponents. They they come at you from everywhere. Yeah, no, they like you said, they've they've got threats all over the field and yeah, we're gonna have to be strong up front and then also have have be really alert for, for their backs who are all over the place and yeah, threats all over the place and obviously we didn't we didn't play too well there like away last last year, so yeah, some wrongs to right there. Hopefully, and no, hopefully, hopefully we've we've had a good week so far. So, yeah, team run on, on Friday, and then hopefully get into it. The mindset of the boys seems to be changing all the time, and Rob talks about it quite often in in his interviews that senior guys are stepping up now. Guys that have been away on Lions tour that necessarily were a bit quieter than before are really setting standards now. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, having having those boys away with with Lions is is awesome for the club. Just. For, for them personally, but also as a squad, when they when they come back, they they drive those standards, like you said, and we ha we see it when the boy, boys go away with international stuff, they come back and they drive the standards again, so and lift it all up. So no, it's awesome to have them back and in, involved, and yeah, big characters. So no, it's good to have them back. Tell us about some of these young pups that are coming into the back row and challenging you, though the likes of Chris and Richard Capstick. Yeah. These yeah. are guys for the future. Yeah, massively so. Obviously, oh, uh, with um, with Chrissy being called up and stuff now, it's so exciting for him. Massive opportunity, and he's he's going to, like you said, he's going to go away, and he's probably going to be coming back and driving standards from, and like showing us what he's learned away inter on the international uh, side of things. So, and yeah, obviously, Rich played a lot last year with him and I, I do love playing with him to be fair he, he works hard and he's trod a similar path to you though the whole academy route and everything and 
it shows that it works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and uh, no, he's done well. He scored a pretty good try away at, at Wasp last year, so hopefully, hopefully he can do the same. <laughs>